it didn't sink in for a few days, I don't think. And then suddenly we thought, oh my goodness, we've, we've booked more courses than we've ever booked before and we're just not going to be able to run them. I think I remember saying to Les, because I sort of sat at the computer and said, you can see how these traders must feel, where you just see like your whole business collapsing in front of your eyes. It was, you know, it was just awful to see everything that you built up over so many years just disintegrate in front of your eyes. It was, it was horrible. We tried to look within the bakehouse, but we realised obviously we couldn't make it you know, viable as a business to have only two or three people here at a time. So we thought, well, if we can have an outdoor space and basically create like a bake-off tent, then, then that should work. I spent a day with some graph paper <laughs> and uh, I was just you know, penciling in how many people we could take, working out. I got my daughter's compass out. We, uh, we sort of went to something that's on two metres from that person. So we think we can do it pretty comfortably. People, you know, have seen that what we're trying to do are quite excited, I think. It's a bit sad they can't have the full Hollywood handshake, but I've got some Bake Off music, so maybe we'll put that on.